Welcome back friends. I have decided to take up van life and this is my brand new home for the next couple of months. Nadia and I have been in Canada for a month now and we are finally off doing the van life thing and I'm so excited about it. Over the next couple months, we're gonna travel across Canada and work our way down into the US to go see Blackpink in concert and uh, I'm pretty dang excited about it. Now, we took off last night from Lethbridge, staying at my mom's house, drove up to Calgary, saw some friends, and now we are at Ghost Lake where we spent the night. So today is our first full day of van life and uh, it, it's going pretty well so far. Today, uh, we're gonna go do some kayaking. I got a surprise in store for Nadia, so I can't wait to show you that. Uh, we're gonna make our way out to a little island and then go stay the night in the mountains somewhere. Not sure exactly where yet, but uh, it's, it's so beautiful out here. I'm sure it won't be too hard to find a nice spot for us to sleep for the night. And uh, yeah, pretty, pretty excited about that. I'm hoping this becomes a little mini series of our entire van life journey through Canada. Um, it's so beautiful out here being in the mountains. It's, it's a, literally a dream come true. I did this a couple years ago, back in 2021 for a summer. Um, I only did it for a month or two before uh, getting a place back in Calgary. But after a year of traveling abroad, being back in Canada, I thought what better way to explore it and to show Nadia um, what Canada is really like in the mountains, see all the most beautiful parts than living in this dang truck. So um, welcome along for the adventure. It's gonna be quite the journey. Um, and yeah, so we're just gonna pack up from our spot where we stayed the night here and head off to the mountains to go do some kayaking. So we'll tune back in in a boat. Hopefully that holds air. I haven't blew it up yet. I tried it in the house when I first got it out of Amazon. I want to see if it hold air, but no one will let me blow it up in the house. So we're gonna go blow it up and see if it holds air on the lake. I'll bring some life jackets. Okay, we have made it to this lake. It's incredibly windy, so I think kayaking is gonna be a little challenging, but uh, I'm gonna work on blowing up this kayak. Natty is making us some smoothies right now, and then we are heading out to this little island right out there. And uh, that's where I got the little surprise, so uh, I can't wait for that. Uh, yeah, let me see. <laughs> let me see how blowing up this dang thing goes, and we'll go from there. Okay, we made it. Let's go kayaking. All right, we made it down to the lake. Got the kayak here. Nadia is all ready to go. Buckled up in that life jacket. Yeah. Okay, let's put this thing on the water and hope it holds air. Yeah. We're floating. We made it. We made it. How are you making out, Nad? You're doing all the work. What flags do we have out here? Mexico, Brazil, Canada. Here, I'll help you paddle. The boat is safely parked. Hopefully it doesn't float away, fingers crossed. We made it. All this poop. This poop? Yeah. All the duck poop? Yeah. Bird poop? We made it to this beautiful little haunted island. Haunted? <laughs> what do you mean? What are you talking about? Okay, we have made it. This is a spot that I've driven past so many times and always wanted to stop, but never have. There's always these flags out here from all over the world. We got the Canadian flag. I believe that's Nova Scotia, Mexico, Brazil. I think up here is Philippines. And who's this? Blue and yellow? I'm not sure. It's a little windy. But the view is crazy. I've always driven past here. And I thought what we should do is put up an Indo flag. Oh my god, you see, I was just wondering, like, where's the Indo flag? It's right here. <laughs>
Okay, let's set it up. Yeah. our territory. I'm gonna pee out on this island as well just for good measure and then uh, we'll drink some smoothies and make our way back to the truck onto the next spot. We've gotta find somewhere to sleep tonight still so that's uh, that'll be a bit of a challenge. All right we have made it back to land now time to find somewhere to go sleep. We are heading to Canmore which is just a few kilometers out of the beautiful Banff but uh, let's hop in the truck and fire this bad boy up. Oh yeah, we made it to Canmore, uh, but I messed up and I hit a sign with the roof of the truck no. and I put a hole right through the roof. Uh oh. So we're gonna have to fix that tomorrow. Hopefully it doesn't rain overnight. But we're at the, we're at the river. I think this is the Bow River. Um, Pretty sure. Yeah, yeah. We're still gonna find somewhere to sleep. Yeah. Here, I'll show you how this goes. No, okay. Hmm. Not bad. <laughs> this water is super cold. I think it just made a splash. Good morning. So we found a lovely little spot to stay last night. There was like 15 other campers with us uh, just outside of Canmore, which is awesome. I think we might stay there again tonight, but I put a hole in the roof last night. There was a low hanging sign in Canmore um, with no sign saying it was low and I hit it. So I'm going to try to climb up onto this guy to get onto the roof and try to patch the hole. I hope it's not too bad. So uh, let's see how that goes. Oh no. You got this. Yeah, I think I just gotta clean it and spray it. All right, we made it up here. I totally forgot to take a video of it last night, but basically what happened is I hit this and bent this piece really, really, really bad. And uh, yeah, it's not, it's not looking super great. So we're gonna get in there and try to fix that. And then I did the same thing over here. That should be straight. So I just barely hit a sign. Uh, there's still some red marks up here, but we'll go in and see if, uh, see if I can get that all patched up. So let's see how that goes, I guess. A bit of goo gone. Make sure we got a nice spot to put some, uh, some glue on there. Clean it up, get all the dust on. And then we're gonna try some Gorilla Glue and see how that holds. Gorilla Waterproof Patch and Seal. Hopefully that does the trick. That's all that I, that's all that I got with me. So hope it does the trick. And I think the big thing here is just don't spray the solar panel. That would not be good. First day out and already having problems. Day two, Cody's got a fix. Oh man. So here's what we got. Hopefully that's gonna do the trick. Let's try giving the back one a spray. This stuff seems to be working pretty good. I might have to do a couple coats, but I think it should hold water. That's the goal.
Alrighty, I think that is three holes completely patched. Busy road, lots of traffic going by. But uh, yeah, one, two, three holes, all good. I guess we'll have to wait until we get some rain to find out for sure if that's the case. Uh, yeah, hopefully this is the first of and last of all the problems. Yeah, but today I think we're gonna go into Banff, hop on the motorbike, maybe go for a little bit of hike, eat some tasty sandwiches. Uh, and yeah, go, go, I don't know, go do something fun. So time to get down from this box and get the motorbike off the truck and head to Banff. Alrighty, we have got the bike off the truck. Uh, we had some lunch, got the roof patched, and now we're gonna make our way to Banff, go do a short little like hour long hike maybe, eat some lunch, got some sandwiches ready to go. Nad looks ready. So ready. Yeah, you ready to hit it? Yeah. All right, let's get it then. We made it to the base of Tunnel Mountain. We're gonna do this little hike. From what I remember, it's only like an hour or so. It should but, be easy. Yeah, but the view is gonna be all worth it. You can oversee the whole valley, all of Banff, the mountains all the way down to Canmore. It's an absolutely stunning spot from what I remember. We got some sandwiches packed. Thanks for making those, babe. Oh yeah. Super excited. Someone's gotta. A couple drinks, but uh, I'm already huffing and puffing, so we'll, uh, <laughs> we'll catch you at the top. We have made it to the top. Uh, it wasn't too bad of a hike. How'd you do? Oh, pff, nothing. Yeah, yeah. We took a few breaks along the way, let's be honest. Yeah. But the view is absolutely <laughs> gorgeous. It was well worth it. It was only like 45 minutes to the top. Um, not too steep. There's a nice little trail. And yeah, yeah check out this view. One really cool thing about doing van life is uh, you don't really have anywhere to be. Your only goal is to make sure you survive the day and find somewhere to sleep at night. And we found a wicked spot. We're gonna go back and sleep in the same spot tonight because um, it's like right around Banff and Kananaskis and Lake Louise. And so it's a pretty solid spot. We can just hop on the motorbike and drive around. And yeah, literally our only goal is to find pretty scenic view spots like this one right here. I mean, you can't really beat this crazy view, but we are gonna finish up our last White Claw um, and then make our way back down. The first White Claw broke in the parking lot. It got a little, little overheated, a little pressurized and a rock punctured it. So we had to shotgun it right in the parking lot. That was pretty fun. Um, yeah, so we're gonna do that and then make our way back down and uh, maybe go drive around Bam, see some, see some fun spots along the way. I am back here at home, well, the truck camper, but it's home now. And after a wild couple days, I just needed some time to relax. After doing that hike, we checked out a few more of the awesome scenic sites to check out in Banff. We made our way to Cave and Basin, which is a national historic site with some amazing viewpoints. So we had some fun looking up into the mountains, through the forest, seeing some really sulfury water. Before taking a drive down to Vermilion Lakes, which is just outside of Banff and such a peaceful spot if you just wanna hang out and enjoy some calm water for the day before making our way back to this camp spot in Canmore which I absolutely love it was so peaceful although it was absolutely packed with people it gave me a little bit of peace of mind knowing that there were other campers there and that no one was gonna come knock on the door in the middle of the night that is the absolute worst thing that can happen when you're doing van life if someone comes and wakes you up and tells you you gotta move and then the next day we packed up all of our things and we headed off back towards Banff and we went to Lake Minnewanka which is hands down one of the best lakes in the whole world that I've been to now we dipped our toes in and the water was freezing cold. I think it was like four degrees or something like that. But this massive lake in the middle of the mountains is just so beautiful. It's such a tourist spot and I highly recommend it if you're ever through Banff. In addition, on our way out of Canmore, we found this really cool spot with what they call earth water. It's basically just some tubes leading out from the mountains with fresh, fresh mountain water. So cold, so crisp. Nadia absolutely loved it. And that brings us to today. If there's one thing that I've learned from this first week of van life, it's that you really need to just slow down and take in every single moment. I personally have been meditating for just about four years now, every single day, minus a few. But when we started getting into van life and traveling a little bit, I was missing my daily meditation and it really messed me up a whole lot. Meditation has been a huge part of my life for the past few years now. And it's really helped me just slow down and appreciate every moment and allows me more brain capacity to think in high stress situations. I can 
can go dive back within myself and really find a sense of calm and a sense of peace. And I think that's so valuable. I was always super skeptical of meditation, but so many people told me, you just gotta try it, you just gotta give it a go. But I thought my brain was too busy for me to be able to just sit down for 15 minutes and meditate. But I decided to download the Headspace Meditation app and it absolutely changed my life. So in the description of this video down below, I posted a link where you can get a free 30 day trial of Headspace and I would totally recommend checking it out. Now, this video isn't sponsored by Headspace or anything like that, um, although it is an affiliate link. So if you do wanna help support me and the channel, I do earn a small commission every time someone signs up for free. But more than anything else, I just wanted to talk about my experience with meditation and recommend that you give it a try. I used Headspace for probably the first year of my meditation journey before I discovered how to meditate on my own, but they have awesome guided meditations that really help walk you through the entire process and get you more comfortable with that state of being. The crazy thing about life is that we're constantly changing. Now, you may not see it on a day-to-day -day basis, but when you look back in the past year, three years, five years, 10 years, you can see that massive change. And you have the choice of whether that change goes in a positive direction or a negative direction. And I think it's so important that we embrace that change that is happening within us and make sure we take that in the direction we want it to go. And for me, one of those biggest changes over the past few years has been meditation. So if that's something you've ever thought about, or maybe this is the first time hearing about it, but it sounds like something you might be into, I would totally suggest checking out Headstone. Space. They started my journey into meditation and I really hope that they could help start your journey as well. So once again, if you want to check out Headspace, it is linked down below. As I mentioned, it does help support me and this channel. So if you want to check it out and do some positive change for yourself, I totally recommend it. But we are wrapping up our time here in Banff and we are going to make our way out to Lake Louise, one of the most stunning lakes in the entire world with a few awesome stops along the way. So that is coming up in next week's vlog. So if you want to be sure to catch that as soon as it drops, make sure that you hit the little bell button down below so that you get notifications right next to the subscribe button. So think about hitting that as well so that you don't miss the next time that I post a vlog. I'm planning on doing weekly vlogs just like this one. And it would be so awesome if you were to come along this journey with me. But anyways, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. A lot more to come. And until next time, you make sure that you have a great rest of your day. We'll catch you on the next one. Peace. Whoosh.